breaking news out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, where the state medical examiner has just given an update on the death of Terrence Crutcher. That, of course, is the unarmed black man shot and killed by a white police officer last Friday. The office says the cause of death was a gunshot wound to the chest with the manner of death homicide. The full report is still not complete. Officer Betty Shelby, who shot Crutcher, is free on $50,000 bond right now after turning herself in early this morning and being charged with first-degree manslaughter. Police released this video of the moment before Friday's shooting where Crutcher is seen walking to his SUV with his hands up. Officer Shelby's attorney says Shelby feared Crutcher was high on PCP and he would not follow the officer's commands. According to the affidavit, Officer Shelby shot Crutcher as he reached into his vehicle's window. But the Crutcher family attorney say the video shows the window was closed. In deciding to charge Shelby, the chief investigator for the Tulsa County DA's office said, quote, uh, she re reacted unreasonably and became emotionally involved to the point that she overreacted. Crutcher's family says they are pleased with the charge, but their hearts obviously are heavy. While we are pleased to learn that the officer who senselessly killed my beloved twin brother will face criminal charges for her reckless act, we understand that nothing will bring him back. Our goal now as a family is to ensure that this never happens to another innocent citizen. We're demanding full prosecution. We want a conviction, and when that happens, this is a small victory. But we know we got to get ready to fight this war. And joining us again today, Tulsa Mayor Dewey Bartlett. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. I know <laughs> that in the case uh, involving Mr. Crutcher, we're talking about a white officer in Charlotte. We're talking about an officer who was African-American with uh, the, the man killed an African-American. So this clearly is an issue of policing and certain communities, in addition to what many see as the current of race. But the bottom line is these families all want accountability. And here in your state, in your city, we've now seen charges. What is how do you assess at least the last few days and how rapidly this has gone in, in, in this way? Well, we uh, focused, uh, of course, on transparency. We released uh, the video, uh, the, the uh, videos uh, uh, very quickly, uh, put it out in the public domain. Uh, then we f focused on two things, the families and uh, the investigation, having that completed as, uh, as quickly and as thoroughly as possible to the point where the district attorney could make a decision. Now we have passed that threshold, uh, and uh, which is good. Obviously, the reaction of the family is uh, accepting of the, of, the, of the present situation uh, as far as the uh, filing of charges go. Now it's up to us to continue on to move ahead to see what, what we can do uh, as a government uh, to improve our situation, to see where we might have had some problems, made some mistakes, improve those, has, have accountability, uh, but also not just accept the situation, but we're always, I am always wanting to see things improve and make it better uh, so that this doesn't happen again. Mayor, there are those some who are, have expressed um, skepticism or concern about the charges. In fact, the USA Today quotes a legal analyst who says that the charge should have been murder. Uh, and that she was given a lenient charge. The officer here, this again, I'm quoting an, an legal analyst who says because the officer was a woman, what's your reaction to A, uh, the component, the most important part, the charge being manslaughter versus murder? Well, I have uh, nothing but uh, total uh, confidence with, with our district attorney, Steve Kunzweiler. He's been in the district attorney's office for 15, 20 years. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's very thoughtful. Uh, he, uh, his, his position is he wants to uh, uh, take care of these things in the courts and not in the streets. Mm -hmm. uh, I have total confidence in him, and I know he, uh, he, he, as in the past, has exhibited thoughtfulness and the rule of law as his guide. So I, I'm very confident that he made a good decision. Let me play what President Obama, I know you spoke with President Obama this week on the phone. Yes. Uh, he made some remarks about Tulsa uh, during an interview that aired this morning. Uh, let me play what he said. Okay. It's Tulsa. He had his hands up, right. Mr. President. And I think that's part of the frustration. Well, look, I, I've made it a policy uh, not to comment on the specifics of these issues because in the case of Tulsa, for example, the mayor has invited the Justice Department in to conduct an independent investigation. I've said this repeatedly. Police have a really tough job. If you have repeated instances in which 
The perception is at least that this might not have been handled the same way were it not for the element of race, even if it's unconscious. Uh, I think it's important for all of us to say we want to get this right. Mr. Mayor, you heard the president say there that you invited the Justice Department to conduct that independent yes. investigation. That perhaps is why we didn't see uh, what happened in Charlotte in your city. Well, we, we made that decision early on. We have a great relationship with the U.S. Attorney's Office. Uh, Danny Williams is a tremendous uh, uh, U.S. Attorney. Uh, we have great relationships with all the players involved, and we want everybody to be on the same page uh, from the beginning. And uh, I, we, we welcome uh, the openness. We welcome the involvement of the U.S. Attorney's Office, of the U.S. Judiciary. We think that's very important. It has to be there. Mayor Bartley, thank you so much for your time. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much for yours. We appreciate Absolutely. that. Mem hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.